Hello again. I'm going to try this time to see if I can show you how I use this contraption uh, to make bows to put on cards. Um, I, I've started off here by doing a front panel and I've just embossed the lower section and I've used um, the 3D embossing folder that came with my new Sizzix switch. Actually, I made a bit of a pig's breakfast of it because um, I didn't get it quite straight. So I just put it in again and it, it's kind of doubly embossed. But because it's a conglomeration anyway, I don't think it looks too bad. So I thought I wouldn't waste the card. I'd use it. So this is how I go about doing it. What I want to do, the, the effect I want to achieve is to have like um, a thread going across here with these little charms suspended from it with a bow as well but I don't it's not kind of straightforward not the way I do it anyway but it works for me so I'm going to show you what I do so here I've got um, a roll of baker's twine so I'm going to start off by putting some of this across the front and I'm going to start by securing it one side at the back Right, some sticky tape at the back. I'm, I've tried to angle the camera today so that you can see what happens when I use that. So if I disappear off the bottom, I'm very sorry. I'll try and remember to do it properly. And I don't go round and around. I just cut it off and I'll put some more tape on. There we go. bit going to stick out the side so I'll just cut that off there we go there's the first row but I think shall I have two let's have a look I think I'll have two I think I'll have two rows so I'm just going to put a second row beside the first one Here we go. Right. Across the front, slip a bit off and stick it on the back. Okay, so there's my, does that show? No, we're fine. So there's my thread going across, but I want it to look as if the bow is tied as part of that thread, but I'm going to do it afterwards. So there's my thread. Here I've got my bow maker and the process for this is, it's kind of a bit complicated, but I'll try and take it slowly. So I start with the thread on one side and the end on the other, and I'm going to make it a double bow. So I'll have two loops on each side. So I'm going to go around once, around twice now I'm going to come over this one now I'm going to go between the posts here okay now whilst I'm there I'm going to thread these two onto the thread so I'm going to put one and I'm going from back to front with these back from the back to the front okay now I'm holding on to this one here this side now all I have to do is a double knot so I'm going to do one and I'm, I could hope for, leave it there this one actually might hold it I'm going to leave it as a single knot if I was using this thread this is um, very springy it wants to be straight. It doesn't like being curled. And if I just did a single knot in this one, it would spring undone again. So I would do a double knot in that. But this one, this is Baker's twine. It seems to be holding up quite well. So cut it off. Now, all I do is lift it off, turn it round. And here is my double bow with the hearts suspended on it. Now, 
for this to look as if it's attached to there, I have another cunning plan. I think I'll cut these off just a tad more. I keep different scissors for different um, things. The ones that are going to cut fabric or ribbon, thread, that kind of stuff. I keep just for that. These ones are the ones I use for sticky stuff. They're supposed to be um, non-stick, but they're very old and a lot of it's worn off. But I do clean them up occasionally with this stuff. It's really good for getting rid of excess adhesive on on anything. I clean my um, plates um, for my die cutting machines to make because sometimes I put double sided tape on the back and a bit gets stuck on the plate. So very good stuff for cleaning up. Now to put this onto there, what I'm going to do is this. I've got a glue dot. So I'm just going to stick this the back of the the back of the knot onto the glue dot. There it is. And stick that onto the line. So it looks like my knot is tying the thread that's going around the card, but it's not. However, the next thing I have to be careful of is if I try to stick that down, it would stick up a fair bit where the um, thread is at the back. So if I want to um, have it raised up a little bit by using foam tape, I'm not going to put the foam tape where the thread is because if I do, it'll make a lump. So I'm going to cut it out either side. So put a bit here, a bit here, a bit across the bottom, and then we'll go up the length, that's a bit too long, won't hurt, put it there, a bit for the other side, and a bit along the bottom. I think that's a bit too long too, isn't it? Just a tad. Okay, let's take that off as well. Now then, positioning, when it comes to positioning um, onto the, the front of a card, I'm not always brilliant at aligning first time round. So I have another little trick up my sleeve that I use just to give me a bit more um maneuverability a bit to give it a bit more um time to get it positioned correctly because this foam tape it's br brilliant it's from sticks to um i love it but it's such a good sticker that if i first touch the card it's kind of there so i'll show you what i do finally got that lot off I use some of this, a bit of glue stick. Now, this makes a little bit more, um, well, it gives it a bit of slide. You've still got the, the big um, pull from the um, foam tape, but the glue stick just helps to let it um, move around a little bit. It doesn't grab the underneath card straight away. So there we go. I could put a sentiment, I could do a lot more, but this was basically just to show you how I use my bow maker. I could do it one more time just to show you. I don't need to put the things on, just to be sure. So I'm right-handed. I've got the, the thread on the left, around and around, go over this one, under, through, over the top, and then just tie another knot. And there we go. A bow that you can stick onto a card. 
they're very cheap to buy. I would recommend them. Thanks for watching.